The Japanese Chin is a charming little companion and lab dog with very distinctive face. There are top 10 interesting facts about the Japanese Chin. Number 1. Origin Japanese chin must have its origin in Japan, right? Well, that is not true. The exact ancestry and origin of this breed is unknown, but most people believe that the Japanese chin originated in China and that it is a very close relative to the Pekingese. So the breed originated in China, but later it was developed in Japan into the breed we know today. Number 2. In Japan there are also two main theories about how these dogs got into the Japan. The first one says that they came to Japan as gifts from Chinese emperor. The second theory seems to be more popular and it's even quoted in the official FCA breed standard and it says that the ancestors of Japanese Chin first got into Korea and they were presented to Japanese court by the rulers of Korea in the 8th century. So as you can see, this is very old and ancient dog breed. Number 3. Noble Dogs The Japanese Chin was always a popular companion dog and there are even evidences that they were living in castles. During the reign of Tokugawa in the end of 17th century, Japanese Chins were raised as indoor toy dogs in the castle of Edo. Later the breed got into England and it quickly became favorite lap dog of ladies of the upper class. Number 4. Size the Japanese Chin is a very small dog. Actually, back in the days they were bred to be as small as possible, so they could have been carried in the sleeves of women kimonos. Today, the Japanese Chin is normally between 20 to 27 cm tall, which is 8 to 11 inches, and weight should be between 3 to 4 kg, which is 7 to 9 pounds. But especially the weight can vary quite a lot. Number 5. Appearance I would say that the Japanese chin has the typical oriental appearance, especially the head is very distinctive. They have large broad head, flat face and very large eyes that are set apart. The V-shaped ears are small and hangs down. Another typical feature of this breed is the plumped tail that they carry over the back. The Japanese chin is very similar to Pekingese, but the Japanese chin has squarer body, thinner coat and straighter legs. Number 6. Companion the Japanese Chin is very entertaining companion for any family. They love to be surrounded by its family and they hate to be left home alone for long periods of time. Those are pretty independent dogs and they are not the easiest to train, but with patience and consistency they can learn a lot of tricks. These dogs are also described as alert, independent, loving, clever and affectionate. Number 7. Cat-like dog not only that these dogs are alert, intelligent and independent, they also have other similarities with cats. They have a habit of climbing and you may be surprised when you find your dog atop of the most unusual high places in the home. They are also known for its paws to wash and wipe its face. And on top of that, these dogs are very clean and they keep themselves clean, just like cats do. Number 8. Chin Spin the Japanese Chin is known for one adorable habit, especially when they are excited, they tend to spin around in circles, sometimes just on two legs. This habit is sometimes called as the Chin Spin. Number 9. Maintenance The Japanese Chin has a beautiful long and silky coat with the feathering on the ears and legs. You should brush the Japanese chin coat at least two times a week to minimize the shedding and keep the coat in good condition. As I already mentioned earlier in the video, this is pretty clean dog and they can keep themselves very clean, so they do not require a lot of bathing. Just like with all dogs, you should regularly check the dog's ears, eyes, teeth and nails and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Health the Japanese Chin is a brachycephalic breed, which means their flat face can cause some breathing troubles. They also tend to suffer from some eye problems. Other health issues associated with this breed are heart murmur and patella luxation. But other than that, this is usually a healthy breed with average lifespan around 13 or 14 years. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Japanese Chin and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rockadox links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.